Hello all, this is Andrew VK3CV with a full demonstration of the 30 terahertz receiver and transmitter system. This is our receiver unit, a um, parabolic reflector with our Malexus sensor in the focal point. And round the back of the unit here we can see our demodulator board, um, DSP board. Uh, it's all done in a little microprocessor on there analog RSSI signal strength meter and a selector switch for either peaking mode or demodulator mode all powered from a 9 volt battery and there's just a little on off switch here we just switch the unit on it's in um, peaking mode at the moment so basically we see nothing on the RSSI until we find a signal I've got a signal source set up on the other side of um, the room here so as we find the peak you see the RSSI meter increase and you hear the pitch increase. When we go to demod mode, what happens now is as I move on and off the signal, we either get a tone to show signal is present or no tone when there's no signal present. It also has a very slow response time on that RSSI meter in that mode. Go back to the peaking mode and I'll just demonstrate how we can generate a low level signal using our finger. As you can hear, my finger is quite an effective source of terahertz radiation being picked up by that sensor. So that's a, a very useful way of checking that your system is actually working properly. If we go back to demod mode again, you can see when I come past a certain threshold, the tone oscillator switches on telling me that I'm receiving a signal. This is how we can send messages using Morse code. Okay, we'll just turn that off for a moment while we go and have a look at our transmitter, which is located over here. This is a very simple black body source, which is a copper plate, which has been painted black. And on the back of it, there is a series of surface mount resistors which are just supplied with a DC current and obviously they get warm, quite warm. Um, we've got a thermal camera here and that's telling me that that source is up at about 115 degrees Celsius at the moment. That's just in an insulated enclosure with some plastic food wrap actually uh, as a window on the outside of it. And that's just to stop stray air currents from cooling the um, system down and having to input a lot more power than what we would normally have to to keep it at a certain temperature. Plastic food wrap is actually quite a nice window at um, 30 terahertz. Glass, for instance, is practically totally um, opaque. You can't transmit very much energy at all through glass but a very thin piece of um, plastic food wrap works very nicely as a transmission window. So we'll just go back and um, demonstrate how we can receive signals from that particular source. We'll leave our unit in demod mode. Actually, no, we won't. We'll switch it on. We'll put it in peaking mode and we will peak up on that signal, which is there put it into demod mode and now we're going to modulate our transmitter not very good morse code there but that is the techniques that that is used to modulate the transmitter and it's a simple matter of using um, a blocking material of some description. In this case, it's just a, an ordinary piece of paper. And that just interrupts the transmission of the um, 30 terahertz signal and uh, allows us to modulate it using Morse code. Now, the other thing I've set up here today is a different method of modulation which is using a secondary reflector or a heliograph. We call it a heliograph when we're using the sun as a transmitter and we're able to move this reflector, which is just a polished piece of aluminium. 
in and out of the um, correct optical path between the transmitter and receiver and we will be able to modulate the device so let's go back to our receiver put it on peaking mode switch it on now we'll spin it round towards where the reflector is and we can see we're getting a very nice peak off that reflector so we'll go back to our demod mode and we can still modulate this way if we want to or we're going to go over here get behind our plate and we can modulate by making very very small movements on that reflector very very small movements are required just to bring the beam in and out of the focal point of the dish so that allows us to use a secondary source um, being the sun or the source we're using in this case our black body source as um, the transmitter and we modulate it in the path with this reflector heliograph so there we have it that's pretty much how the system works a, um, a simple transmitter modulated with a, a gate or a, a baffle whatever you want to call it and a uh, receiver based on a um, thermopile center element so there we have it thank you very much for your interest